What a thrill to be with a Hall of Famer, Marvin Harrison Sr. Now this is the guy with 1,100 catches, 128 touchdowns, 14,580 yards. Did I get that right? I lost, I lost track. And now he's poured all of that into his son, Marvin Harrison Jr., who should have won the Blitnikoff last year, just an editorial comment mm -hmm. <laughs> for you there. Yep. Um, has that been, have you seen him grow and are you always kind of adding to his repertoire? Of course. Um, yeah, I've seen him grow. Actually, when, I, when, he was, when he was younger, we would, you know, haven't missed a practice or a game. And I used to film the games, and then when they were over on, you know, Saturday nights or Sunday morning, we would watch it and just go over it and just go over it very thoroughly with them at a young age. Well, how young? I guess from whenever you can start playing. So seven, yeah. eight, nine, ten. You know, we was always just watching, just and just and just learn. So it's, uh, to this day, I think you know he's always remembered all these these times when I've yelled at him. <laughs> but uh, I think it has paid off. So so he's been in the lab that long. Oh yeah, he's been. Uh, well, no wonder he's so dadgum good. Yeah, yeah. And uh, once he got to high school, I sort of just stepped back a little bit and just let him be his, himself. And then uh, he's turned into what he is today. So. How much of your career does he remember at all? That I never even asked him. So I'm, he was he was very young. Very you know, young. When, yeah, when I was playing. Like I said, around seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And uh, I'm not sure how much he remembers, but as he got older, he was able to go back and just watch, you know, some of the film and some of the highlights. And, uh, you know, he can just, you know, he see how the work ethic play, pay, played off, um, you know, over, over time. Do you tell him that's how it's done, kid? Zach, well, he, he understands it now. Like I said, I don't, I don't even need to speak it in anymore. So now he knows that, you know, the hard right. work's going to pay off. And uh, this is what everyone has ever told him about me. So now that, uh, you know, he, he knows what it takes, just a little bit, a little bit more effort, you, you know, good things will happen. Was Junior in Canton when you went in the hall? Yes. He was. Mm -hmm. I need to ask him this season about that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he was there. Uh, special, special time for you? Uh, yeah, it was a special time. Uh, it was one of those things, you know, when you play your entire career, and then at the, you know, when, it, when the, I wouldn't say the doors closed, but at the end of, you know, a, a decent career, you get to go to Canton and, you know, say thanks to everyone, and your, your kids are there to watch you, uh, you know, get inducted. So it was one of the, it was a special moment in time. Do you ever tell him if I'd only been six three and a half? I mean, you accomplished this mm -hmm. feat. I mean, come on. Now, you, you're not that much uh, taller no. than I. So how did you do it? Um, I think the tenacity and the work ethic and the, the competitiveness is more than anything. No matter how big or tall or small you are, it's just mm -hmm. that how are you going to, you know, master your craft? So as a route runner, you know, blocking or whatever it was in, in practice, I think that's how I got to where I was. So it wasn't about the size. It was just about how, how hard you're going to you know, take your, your craft seriously. He made some phenomenal catches last year. How good is your son? He's very, he's very good. And um, me, dad, I can't say how you know, great. You never, I can't tell a kid you how great. You can't brag on even, even myself. I don't okay. ever say how great I am. No, no, I I got to tell him it was a good job, you know, great game. But if the game is on Saturday, Sunday evening, <laughs> let's just forget about what happened last week. What are you going to do next week? So that's, yeah. that's his model. He knows that. And he understands that. So some guys will take one game and think they're All-American all year long, you know, in, in any sport. You know, you have a great game, 40 points in basketball. You know, you think you're the man. Yep. That was last week, kid. <laughs> you know, now, now we're going to focus on you, see if you can get 40 more this week. So yeah, same thing yeah. in football. Um, you, you just can't, um, you know, harp on just one one game and think you're great. You got to do it consistently, week in and week out. Do you see yourself in him? Oh, I used to get that. that he got that from me. Just mm -hmm. a little thing. No, so, not at all. So the, the 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 one thing that I was telling, I forget who it was. I don't know. Somebody was yeah. like, "Your son doesn't act like you." I was like, "What do you, what do you mean?" He's like, "You know, you're a little, a little more quiet. Are you? You know, you, you know, you just hand the ball back to the ref." I said, "Well, when you're a Buckeye, I, I'm I'm learning now." Buckeyes have swagger, so now they, these guys, when they score a touchdown, they just all over the place, but they're, <laughs> but they're having fun, so that's where the little difference is. As long as they're having, I think they're having a lot more fun playing the game and uh, being, a, being a part of the Buckeye family, I think it's a little different. It's too bad Cuse isn't going to play the Bucks. Oh, thank God. Because he, <laughs> we don't want that. that. Would that be tough for you? <laughs> no, it wouldn't be tough. It wouldn't be a good game. That's all. <laughs> that's all. So uh, yeah. it's, it's, it's a good thing that they're not. <laughs> what is Marvin's ceiling? 
Uh, the ceiling? I don't know, but um, I, I know we did talk at the end of the season and uh, we discussed uh, what we can do better for next year, what, what you can improve on and the things that I'm going to look forward to as a, as a former coach and a parent and how I see you can get better. So we, we have our little three or four things that we want to improve on from last year that's going to help him this year. So you always got to look for something to, to, to improve on in any sport, anything you do, whether it's television or whatever it is, mm -hmm. look for something that you can improve on. Well, I could be prettier, but that's not going to change. Yeah, that ain't going to happen. No, it's not going to happen. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, Kyle McCord now is, could be the quarterback. Mm -hmm. They played together. Three state titles in Philly? Yes. Uh, when they sat together last night, are they starting to just re return to the, that time, that sync, that vibe that they have between each other? Or is um, that going to take some time? No, I think they're always going to have a vibe. It's just that, you know, when you, when you play in high school ball and state titles is one thing, but playing in the college level is another. Uh, Kyle, Kyle he, he has the work ethic also, I can say that, because I've been around him for four or five years now. Yeah. Very intelligent kid. Uh, he's, he's looking forward to um, competing, and uh, I think the sky's going to be the limit for him. And uh, people haven't seen him play, you know, full season yet, but I think yeah. when he does, it's, it's going to be, you know, a good thing. He's following a high first rounder. That, mm -hmm. That's – but when you come here, you accept the pressure, do you not? Has Marvin verbalized that? Yeah, well, one of the reasons why we, or Marvin came here to Ohio State is that when we were choosing schools, it was like, to me, I said, you got to go where the competition is. And, and over the last few years, Ohio State was known for having great defensive backs. And uh, if you want to bring out the best in you as a receiver, mm -hmm. go to Ohio State and go against those guys week in and week out, and that's going to make you, you know, a, better play, a better player. So. That's what we're looking forward to competition to come uh, here. Besides number 18, who would be your favorite Buckeye? Have you observed enough Ohio State football the last couple of years? I have. I have quite a few. Okay. But the, but the one guy. I got time. My one, my one guy <laughs> that no one would ever think about. Really? I, I, like, I, I like the nickname. Let me start with the nickname. Two okay. thumbs. What's his name? Tommy, Tommy Two Thumbs? Tommy, to, the, whatever they, they get the his golfer? Guy, no, the guy that broke his thumbs. Oh, Ekin, Echenberg, Echenberg. I, Tommy Eichenberg. Eichenberg, yeah, I just like his nickname. But um, the receiver, I'm a receiver guy. Yeah. I love the receivers. You know, yeah. Mecca, Julian, Jaden, uh, all those guys. Uh, I'm just happy to be a part of those, you know, to, to watch those guys develop. Because I saw when they came in here as rookies, dating back to um, – Garrett Wilson. Sure. When he came in as a freshman, he was one of the first guys I talked to when I got here. Yeah. And he was just so humble. And to watch Garrett, to watch Chris, and those guys develop as to great receivers, I don't have a pick, but I just like to watch that whole entire receiver room uh, to just develop. So I'm look, I look forward to seeing those guys play. All right. So if I'm passing out kudos here mm -hmm. for your son's development, how much do you get and how much does the new offensive coordinator, Brian Hartline, get? Well, he gets a lot. I, he does. I, I won't even say it's 50-50. You know, Hart, <laughs> once, I, once he got here and I knew yeah, Hartline yeah. was in charge and, and, and Coach Day, like I said, I'll get to that story in a minute. I was just happy that, uh, you know, when he, that, that Coach Hartline was here. And I was like, I took a deep breath. I was like, good. I'm, I'm happy he's with the guy that's, that's played the game, that knows the game, who wants to win, who's a former Buckeye. And, he's, you know, he's going to just be, you know, give you everything he's got to help this program organization win. So I was happy, you know, when he came here to be under Coach Hartline. Um, all right, Eichenberg is your guy. No, uh, I mean, I like t Tommy Two Thumbs. I just like the nickname. Tommy Two Thumbs. Well, <laughs> but now the, that he's The receivers it. are my guy. I can't have one. Was, <laughs> those, that receiver room is my deal. Mickey Morandi <laughs> told me that Jaden Ballard's the fastest guy on the team. What do you hear? Uh, I don't know. I, I didn't get, get that far into it. So I think maybe or maybe not. You think know. he's quicker than Marvin? I have, I don't, I have no idea. <laughs> I haven't seen it, so I don't know. So when did Ryan Day – impress upon you this is the place for your son um when marvin was a freshman in high school coach day came to the, you know at the end of the year coach day came to high school he gave me a call hey this is coach day and i was like damn i don't know coach day i, I, I didn't know where he was at, at the time he's like coach day from ohio state i was like oh yeah. hey coach how you doing and uh prior to him recruiting my son he was the first coach to ever offer him a scholarship to ever come and see him ever hand out a business card and I just remember saying, he's one of the guys who's a, who's a family man, who's a, who has a, a great passion for competition. 
I was like, damn, I remember that name because he coached in Philadelphia at some point in time. So I just remember the name. And when I asked about him or people, they just say he's just a great man and a great guy. So that was the freshman year. So going into the junior year, I already had a, you know, idea where we want to be at. And then and when Coach Day became the head coach, I was like, this is simple. But I'll let my kid finish <laughs> off the recruiting process. But at the end of the day, I know he's going to, uh, you know, a, a team with a great leader. It's a great place. But first offer <laughs> means a lot. I've learned over the years in recruiting. If you're the first school that identifies me as worthy of playing power five football, mm -hmm. especially at a place that's nothing but legends mm -hmm. over there, uh, that had, like you said, that impressed him, I'm sure, at some, to some extent? No, it was just the Coach Day himself. I mean, oh, okay. the first offer is one thing, but like I said, I've heard so much about Coach Day, and at that time, he was the quarterback's coach when he came right. to the school to recruit. Yeah. And then two years later, he became the head coach. I was like, oh, that's good. You know, and then you know, him being an offensive coordinator at the time, I was like, this works, this works well because when you have a head coach or offensive coordinator who has a, you know, a knack for that game, and when I watch, when I watch the games, I'm like, damn, he has a, a professional aura about him when he calls and plays and I, that I can, I can notice. I'm like, damn, he, mm -hmm. he knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've always seen that in Coach Day. So I'm just happy to be a part of it. Was he uh, nervous when he met you? No, no. Coach he was Day, cool? No, he was always cool. Always cool. <laughs> yeah, even to this day, you know, when I'm around the facility, he's like, yo, you know, come on over. And Tells you high. he belongs. Yeah, he's, he's, he, he, he's, he's, he's a good guy. Just you know, never had problems and anything you need, he's always there. And even after the... Uh, the moment's the, not too big. Yeah, never. He's just, you know, just great to be you know, a part of it with him. Okay, before you go, uh, you probably have to give us a little season prediction here on the, on the Buckeyes. Starting over a little bit with Kyle McCord, mm -hmm. but uh, a lot of playmakers. Uh, defense is going to be, we'll see. Uh, got to tune up some things. Mm -hmm. uh, got to get some DBs who can lock down. Mm -hmm. What do you think, sir? I don't have a complete <laughs> opinion. Like, I'm a guy that I'm going to go to uh, the spring practices. I'll probably okay. out of 15, I'll probably be at maybe nine or ten. Oh, okay. But I don't have a prediction. I mean, the team's going to be good. It's just how good you're going to be. Right. And then when, when you have, which I, you know, I'm an offensive guy with the, the running back room and the receiver room, even the tight ends, and, you know, you got two good quarterbacks, when you can get the chance to compete against the defense, you're only going to make them better and vice versa. So when those guys compete against one another, I think that's what's going to determine how good we're going to be. You know, it'll be a spring, and then when the fall practice and summer practice start, is how, God, how good these guys are going to compete against one another to get ready for you know, the season. So I'm looking forward to the competition. All right, so here's the, the big question. This, this is going <clears> to <throat> let me know how much you love Ohio State. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about the team up north? <sighs> well, You're on the you, spot here. As you know, my former quarterback as a rookie was Harbaugh. I know. And he has a temper and, and uh, he, he's a, a rah rah guy, but... Um, I don't know. It's just uh, I don't have the tough call. It's a tough call, you know. It's you always, are gonna you are gonna wear scarlet to the game. I'm always neutral. I'm always neutral. Neutral. This is me. Even if the Colts, I'm just gonna be. Right. I'm gonna be You're neutral. not talking to Jim, are you? No, I haven't talked to Jim. No, I don't talk to Jim. <laughs> but I'm um, just looking forward to it. It's always a good rivalry, rivalry yeah, in college football. One of the biggest around. So just looking forward to forward to it. But don't want to look too far ahead. Be, like I said, each and every week, you got to get better than the week before and get ready for the games during it down the end. Marvin Harrison Sr., anything you want to add, sir? Nope, that's it. You sure? I'm sure. Trust me, yes. It, it took a while to that, get here, that's but a I'm long, here though. That's a long, <laughs> that was a long interview for you. Yeah, it was, but it was fine. It was Did fine. I miss anything? No. You sure? Nope. Okay. 